Okay, y'all. Right here, we're going to start with some tumbling tire blocks. And you all know how I am when I do tumbling tire blocks. But we're going to do um, a line of six across the there. Um, d yeah, glue them end to end. And then we're going to do a second row. So you're going to need 12 blocks right here. Now, here's where I lose it. Okay, because... I originally, when I started this, I glued it like in the center there starting down and I glued them side to side. But that takes way too many blocks. So in the end, I change it and I pop that off and I glue them end to end going down the middle there. And here I'm just measuring how long it is. And I believe that this, it was eight inches long. Let me see, is that right? No, no. They're 12 inches long, so these things are bigger than what I originally thought. Now, now on the end there, on that O, I glued the two blocks to the side, but on the other end, I glued them on the end. Um, you all know what, see? Yeah, yeah. And it still comes out perfectly even, and this is my O. We're spelling out joy. Now, I saw this on Pinterest that somebody had made a smaller version of this, and of course, me, I'm extra, go big or go home, right? But they had stained theirs. Well, I go a bit further. Or painted them. I can't even remember. It's been so long. I think it was like last year. See where I changed my J there to, yeah. Because it takes 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then you go 2, 4, and then 1, 2, 6 going across the side anyway to make the J. And here we're just making the Y. I figured it'd be easier for me to show you instead of me telling you because I mess it up. And you will probably need two big boxes of the tumbling tower blocks. And right here, I'm just taking craft sticks and I'm gluing them on the back to stabilize it. Look, I glued my I glued it on the front, glued it backwards, but you know me. And there's one of them MDF snowflakes I painted that a couple weeks ago. And you can use that for your O or you can make your O. And here, I'm tracing it out. And look, y'all, you see what I'm doing? I'm doing it backwards again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm only dyslexic with J's apparently, but anyway, um, yeah, don't, don't do that. Flip it around. I'm like, oh man. And then I actually got a new piece of paper and I actually cut out the backwards one. So don't do that either. Anyway, after I get them all cut out, I don't even know what I'm blabbing about. Um, I'm going to, oh, uh, I stained them all with Waverly Antique Wax front and back, but I let it dry like two hours. Cause if you don't, yeah, that, that doesn't want to stick and doesn't is a word anyway and i'm just gonna put this i want to make sure i put like a medium coat of mod podge down i know it's hard to decipher how much you put because i put down a lot or i put down a light coat but i mean you y'all saw i mean i never leave it so thick unless i'm doing material so anyway i got on my my, I know you guys are like, oh my gosh. Anyway, I get it all sanded down. And um, I wanted to show you, because I wanted these to look old and rusty. Um, see right there, the corners, how I'm sanding it down. And then that um, antique wax will show behind it. And I just think it turns out pretty. I do, because you all know I like rustic stuff. And especially Christmas. And I am... So digging plaid everything, which I've always liked tartan plaid, but I'm digging plaid everything this year. And I got that um, scrapbooking paper from the Hobby Lobby. And that's some holly candle thing I got from the Dollar Tree last year. Let me see. Oh, and here I'm just taking pics of stuff that, that has fallen off things that I've collected in a little Ziploc baggie over the years. Just putting things here and there and then i do take some mistletoe off a uh, mistletoe pick i got at walmart look i got that um this spring and i got it for 25 cents and it was a big old bushel of thing of mistletoe and i'm like oh my gosh i got so lucky anyway um yeah y'all see what i'm doing there i'm putting a mustache on my Y. apparently <laughs> that looks like a mustache <laughs> anyway yeah, I know, right? Um, I'm going to put some holly leaves on my O over in the um, left-hand corner. And, um, again, just put little pine cones and little leaves and little 
decorations. I think sometimes decorating them up, the accessories is, is more fun than doing the DIY, but you know, that's just my opinion. Then some people don't like as much as many accessories, and I've been told so, but that's okay. You know, everybody do theirs how they want. Now, I got that little jingle bell at a flea market, and um, it's real rusty, and putting some jute in it. Now, y'all can rust your own if you take silver jingle, jingle bells. <laughs> jingle. Anyway, bells would be better and soak them in some um, uh, da, 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 vinegar, white vinegar, and uh, it will rust them up real good for you. And the uh, longer you soak it, the better they look. And I'm taking some berries off a pick here, and I'm putting it on my mustache. And see, I got those other little type of jingle bells, um, two from that flea market. So there's two different types there. And I put the bolly ones on the J and the Y, and the hanging one on the O. <coughs> and I love this, y'all. <coughs> Excuse me. It'd be good to set on a mantle or... A big shelf somewhere, or just, yeah, I just, I, I like it. I really like it a lot. Okay, right here. I wasn't filming, but I take one of them hoops. You can get them from Dollar Tree. It's got the three hoops in it, but I got mine at Walmart a couple years ago. And I take two Dollar Tree Christmas trees. Now, I take, I don't use the little black stands, obviously, and I bend my trees around, at, at, you know, at that that circly like motion and first i tried to use floor wire to fl no floral tape <laughs> told them trees on there that was an epic fail so we're going to take some sturdy jute twine and we're going to wrap it around the center of our trees there to get them to stay on our hoop look y'all take if you take a hula hoop and like six of those trees and wrap it around the hula hoop you can make a big giant wreath and hang it out on your house anyway so i'm just fluffing up my christmas trees here I thought, I thought these would look better than that uh, garland wrap. And I thought this might look more like, you know, one of them uh, uh, pine wreaths. Anyway, I can't talk. <clears throat> so, yeah, I just want to make sure y'all knew how to fluff it out. No, I'm crazy. I'm sorry. So, I got those pine picks from heaven only knows where. And I wrapped them in a scene to cover up that jute. Um... Because I want my wreath to be full all throughout. And then I also wrap it in the mangy looking places. You know how them trees are sparse. So I just try to wrap it in and fill it up real good. And then the pieces like that are long. Like the bottom of the Christmas tree where they've got the long branches. I cut them down to try to make my wreath all the same like half the best I can. And then I hot glued the pieces I cut off in to fill in gaps you know what i mean i don't know i hope y'all understand what i'm jammering jammering yammering about i can't talk ever i don't even know why i do this so anyway um i i love that white fern i love love it and that's uh, one of my favorites y'all know and i take the end pieces off because you got the fern like big leaves and you got the little end pieces now i'm not gluing anything i'm just pl i'm not a good wreath maker y'all and that's why you don't see me make a lot of them because i'm very very insecure about my wreaths but this one i'm kind of proud of anyway i'm just placing everything down there i even take picks like pine picks out of off other things, all that little bag I had, and whatever I do on the left side, I do on the right side, and I try to keep it even, and put some pine cones in there, and berries in there, and then I got those two picks from the Dollar Tree, I had four little Christmas bulbs, and I put them in there, and um, red Christmas bulbs, and then those little pine cones had red glitter on, I put them in there, now here I'm just showing you, where I, when I get everything the way I want it, I just start packing it down with some hot glue. And I got that Santa Claus, um, I don't even know when, a couple years ago. I know he came from the Dollar Tree, but I saw them over there again. So, I think they have them every year. And I'm just going to hot glue him right there in the center of my wreath. This is going to my nephew's houses. So, they'll know Santa Claus is watching them every day when they come home from school. And I made a big old fluffy bow. And I put a piece of jute on it to hang it up. And um, I, I wrapped my big fluffy bow around my hanger. And I glued it to make sure it stays on there real good. And I'll show you the center bow at the end. Because um, some of y'all want to know how I make that little bow that I put in a big bow. But I love this, y'all. I love I have bow video, too. I love this so simple. And those Christmas trees. And I would have never 
thought that those could look that good on a wreath. I was mind blown. Anyway, okay, y'all. Right here, I got that 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 sign, the rectangle sign, and the square sign, and one of the long uh, skinny signs. Now, that long skinny sign, I think I cut down to 14 inches. I believe that's how long I cut it. And why 14? I have no clue. But anyway, I just didn't want it as long as it was. As it was. And I just take my <clears throat> carpenter uh, utility knife, whatever it is. And I just uh, score it till you can snap it. And it's real easy to do. It don't take much to get those signs apart. And that one, I'm going to give a rough coat with the chippy brush. Um, Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint, y'all. Y'all. Anyway, I'm not going to make you watch me. Oh, well, anyway, there it is. That's how I want it when it's done. I wanted to show you the end piece. And, of course, you know I'm going to sand around the edges and pick that paper off that's hanging off the edges. I hate that. And that one I'm going to paint in Antique Green by um, Folk Art. And it's their chalk paint, home decor chalk paint. And then that one I'm going to paint lacquer red um, by Waverly Waverly chalk paint anyway. Oh my gosh. And um I'm gonna paint them all the same way like that 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 look. Yeah. And I got this that vintage book I showed y'all. I got it from the Hobby Lobby. I'm in love with this book and the paper in it. <clears throat> it was only fourteen ninety nine, y'all. <clears throat> or thirteen ninety nine, I can't remember. Anyway. And I'm gonna cut two two inch strips off each of them. And you know they're twelve inches wide i don't know they're 12 by 12 and i cut two inch strips off each of them now this one i had to add a little piece to because it, you know the 14 inches it was a bit short so i just cut a little piece and matched it up and put it on there and i'm just um yeah putting them down the center one i offset a little bit here's where i'm cutting the second piece i don't know why i showed y'all but um i did <laughs> mm. Oh, look, I used that glue stick, <clears throat> and I would advise, and it may be the way I painted it when I didn't paint it, you know, but it started popping off, and I had to hot glue it on. Anyway, I sound like Ricky Bobby from Talladega Nights. Anyway, and I got that uh, Amazon box, and yeah, I'm just cutting it up, and um, I take the pieces, it's about the same size where I cut it up. And I'm going to hot glue them together to make them thicker. And I wanted to make sure that you got to see all of it. To see how I did that. And then that one I cut <clears throat> in half at two and a half inches. So these are going to be my box tops. Yeah, and then I'll show you two and a half inches. Um, anyway... I didn't want to cut up another sign. And I take that glue stick again. And I put that paper. The matching to the corresponding paper. The, the, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I want the lids to match the paper on the the boxes. Yeah. Anyway. I would not use Mod Podge on that. I would stick with the glue stick I believe. Because. I've, yeah, it's not been good when I've tried it before in the past sometimes. Anyway, and I'm just going to hot glue my tops onto my Christmas tree boxes. These, this one's so cute, y'all. It's huge, too. And I got that <clears throat> two by, one by two um, out of our garage. And then I got that piece of scrap wood out of our garage. Wait a minute. I need to tell y'all how long that one by two was. Sorry. And I hot glued it on, and then I took my um, nail gun, and I just peel, 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 peeled it on. And I painted it with um, Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. And now I'm just going to hot glue my first package on. 18, 19, 20, 21. It's 22 inches long. Sorry. Anyway, and then I'm going to um, hot glue... That second one on, and I'm going to glue it at an angle. I think this is cute, y'all. I made this for my mom and daddy's porch, and I made something else for my daddy you see in a minute. But anyway, <clears throat> I don't have a porch, and I don't have a deck anymore. We tore it out, and we still ain't got it replaced, so it makes me really sad. 
Anyway, okay, I got that ribbon there from the ho no, not a Hobby Lobby. I got it from Sam's. Yes, they so beautiful ribbon, and um, I got it last year. They got something similar this year, but not exact. <clears throat> anyway, and I'm just gonna make a big old floofy bow now. That sequins ribbon, I think that's very pretty, but lousy day, it sheds like you wouldn't believe. And I just take the pipe cleaner that I wrap it with, and I shove it up my crack, and, oh, no. <laughs> shove it up in that crack, not my crack, that crack, and glue it up in there. Uh, and I got that little sign from the Dollar Tree, and I took hot glue, and I took that little round wooden piece off. Now, I take this beautiful piece of scrapbooking paper, y'all. But I wish I hadn't used it. I wish I'd used something like a uh, like a more solid color and then maybe add some pieces to that. I painted it white and then <clears throat> and I end up covering the back too, but because I think it's too busy and it kind of blends into the packages. But y'all see here in a minute. I just hot glued my little round wooden piece back. Now there's that beetle on needle that I use, I tell y'all about. Large eye needle, got them at Walmart. <clears throat> I'm on my last one. I keep losing them, not because I break them and I lose them. But anyway, and I run some jute twine, do Lark's head knot on my um, little tag there because with that beetle on needle, yeah, I pulled double sided jute through that hole. That thing's amazing. And then um, I add three little beads to it a white one, a red one, and a green one, and just tie it up. <clears throat> and on my um, little. Um, Tag, I just write two, and then dot, dot. I know what the dot, dot is. Help me out here. And the semicolon's the one with the line in the dot. Whatever. And and to and from. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, y'all. My allergies are sinuses. And I um, put some little, that little mistletoe on there. <laughs> sorry, I'm talking so fast, y'all. And some pine cones. And I hot glue that to the back of my tags there. And um, put some duct tape down to make sure it holds it on there in place. And then tie a, nut, a knot in a, in a, gee whiz, Lord have mercy, good gravy. Anyway, and then I tack it down there, and there it is. And oh my goodness, I think, oh, I did put two picks in there, two pond picks um, by the bow. And I think that just turned out so, look at that, <gasps> look at that paper, oh my gosh. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Is a word. I, we've had this discussion just a minute ago. I think that I need to put some um, music in my video a little bit. Um, okay. Either I think I'm a genius, which I do think I'm a genius, but no, I'm joking. Or I saw this somewhere, but I, you know, I put these glass pieces in my car, and I actually set that uh, one piece inside that other piece by accident i was like oh, that looks like a little lantern so but if if it's been seen somewhere else maybe i saw it somewhere else i don't know i don't want to take credit for anything that's not mine anyway so i put um um e6000 and hot glue on it and glued that jar thing to that candle plate and i give it two coats of rust oil and white chalk paint then I'm going to take this jar. <clears throat> Every time I paint glass, I just do it all at the same time, even if it is different DIYs. Look how big that one is. Oh, my goodness, compared to the other one. And I'm going to give it two coats of Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Yeah. And then I'm going to take E6000 and hot glue. And I'm going to glue that vase down inside the top of my jar. Yeah. Anyway, just wipe off the excess glue. And then I sand it down a little bit, um, just to make it look a little bit rustic. But I kind of wish I, well, because I was going to do this actually in Buffalo Check. And I think it would be beautiful in Buffalo Check. But I ended up, I don't even know what happened. I went a completely different route. Y'all know me. Anyway, so see that pretty, that's snowflakes with black. And look how pretty they're red and white. That red and white check is what got me. I was like, oh. Anyway, so I got this candy ribbon at the walmart this year y'all i love this and even though it's too big but it wasn't you know it's like a medium sized ribbon but i was like Ugh, i'm doing it anyway because i want this anyway so <laughs> wrapped, it around, wrapped it around my jar there the lip of the jar and i don't think it turned out bad you, you can't even really see it though and i just hot glued it on 
I wish I'd put the handle on the other side, though. And um, I made a bow, just a weirdness ribbon bow, and just took some jute and tied it up in the middle. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, y'all. I miss you guys. I'm telling you. Um, it seems like I, I haven't been here forever. And anyway, I take two palm picks and I twist them together. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I attach them together in the in, on the end. And then, um, you guys, I give it a haircut because I think when you, especially when you wrap those together, it looks really, really like crazy, like little pieces going everywhere. And I take this berry pick I got from <clears throat> the Dollar Tree last year. And I take that, I think it's, is it metallic? What's it called? Marker. I love these things. I like them better than the paint pens that I had, the paint markers that I have. Um, what are these called? I've been using these since I found them at the Dollar Tree. Metallic marker. I know I've been using them for a couple years. I love them. Um, and I just make little designs, like make them look like candy on my little, my little berries there. And it turns out so cute. And then I just hot glue them on my wreath. I only did five of them because I figured the ribbon was going to be covering up the top part of it. Yeah. And then this guy, this, I love it. Anyway, I know, this is my favorite. I take them little gingerbread man buttons from the, um... Hobby Lobby, you know, when stuff 50% off, I got them 50% off, and I'm going to glue them on my little wreath there, um, in between my little berries, and then I'm just going to hot glue my little wreath onto my lantern. I'm so excited about this one, y'all. <laughs> I know nobody's going to like it as much as I do, but I love it so much. Anyway, um, and I glue my bow on, and I take one of them little candy canes I got from the Hobby Lobby. You know, it's for their little tiny Christmas trees. And I cut the little string off of it, and I glue it in the center of my bow. And I put a little LED candle down in it. And, y'all, I feel like it needs something right there in the center. Maybe a little gingerbread man. But I think this thing is so cute. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> if you did it like Buffalo Check, it would be beautiful. And if you painted the bottom of it black and did a buffalo chair, it'd still be beautiful. Look like a lamp. You know what I mean? But I love it. I truly do. Okay, with this one, y'all. This one might not be for some people. Y'all might want to fast forward it if you're not a dog person. But anyway. Okay, there's my other jar. And I got the lid. And I'm actually going to um, <clears throat> trace it out and cut it out. That cork sheet from the Dollar Tree. And that would be excellent to trace gingerbread men out on to make gingerbread men with. Yeah. And anyway, I cut it loose, and I cut it loose, no. I, I try to cut it, you know, and it looked kind of jaggedy, which I had plans of covering that edge up anyway. And I know, I didn't make any sense. But if you cut it with the paper on it, it cuts so much better. And so anyway, um, I'm just going to wrap it around my lid there. And that stuff is so sticky, I didn't have to glue it or nothing. It stuck. And when I tried to move a piece, it would not come up. So, I think it's on there. And I just take scissors and trim out the rest of it because I didn't want it to look shaggy. And so, I take that jute there from the Dollar Tree. The one from the Crafter Square. <clears throat> and I, um, uh, yeah, go around that, that gap there where those two pieces, you know, would have met. Anyway, and so, what am I doing now? What am I doing? Oh, Miss Pat Boyer sent me these napkins last Christmas. Y'all, I've been waiting a year to use these napkins. Look at them. She said they reminded her of Jesse Jane. <laughs> and they do. And it's true. Anyway, I love them. I love them, love them. But I'm going to mark here. That's why you put your lid on. Because you want to mark where the back is. Because you're going to have a gap like that. Unless maybe you use a smaller one. And I didn't want to put my napkin where that that was pieced together you know what i mean so it's two ply i'm just taking both the plies off mm. and um i'm gonna do a very light coat of mod podge y'all when it's a napkin it's so thin you do not need much mod podge um so very 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 light coat i go crazy with this thing in a little bit y'all's gonna be like dude you overdid it it was nice but you overdid it but I'm going to keep this one in my craft room. I'm going to make another one to put upstairs. Anyway, I know y'all don't care about that, but I just thought I'd tell you. Anyway, I put half of it down, and I flip it up, and I put another light, light layer Mod Podge. 
I mean, when I say light, y'all, I'm almost dry brushed. I mean, that's how little bit I use. And I think that, I'm so sorry, I think I'm rude. I think that helps with my wrinkling. And I always have my saran wrap waiting there for me. And I put it on there, and y'all, I just rub it out with my hands. Just rub it out, rub it out. And I don't get wrinkles. People don't believe me, but I, I try to show people my stuff. I don't get wrinkles. I might get one little tiny one here or there, but <clears throat> no. Okay, so I'm going to take that um, vintage grain. Is that what it is? I already told you. I can't remember. And um, that crimson by Waverly. And I'm going to make polka dots. I, make, I take one of those bigger sponges and make green polka dots. And then I take a smaller sponge and I make red polka dots. And then... I go polka dot crazy. I can't just leave it alone. And I'm like, oh, that don't match there. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, no, there's two green ones side by side. Fill it with the red one. Oh, no, now there's two red ones. And then I just go polka dot crazy. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like it's got the measles. Okay, then I take a little um, knob and I paint it crimson and I hot glued it to the top of my canister. I know you can't open it that way, but it's just for looks. Then I polka dot the lid. Come on, y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, no. And here it is. I wish I would have put the lid on them polka dotted it so it would have matched together. But I polka dotted it. I love it. I think it's adorable. And I'm going to put untuckies in it. And I think I was going to take some, um, uh, take my cricket and put untucky on it because, you know, that's what Jessie thinks her treats are. So, anyway, okay, y'all, right? I got that thing here from the Dollar Tree, and, um, I think they still have them, because they still have a lot of the fall stuff out, and I'm just going to sand that down the best I can, because I'm going to give it two coats of, uh, Rust-Oleum Lumite chalk paint, and I just want to cover it up, and that Carol Ann got me that little truck, and I'm going to take my heat tool and take the fender off, now, y'all probably won't have to do this, but I do take the tree off, you need to remove the tree, unless you want it, <clears throat> but my fender was crooked, and I had to glue it on straight because I'm crazy. So, that's the only reason I took my fender off. And so, I first paint it with that um, lacquer, and then I'm like, mm, no. And I go over, and I paint it with crimson later. But I paint my tires black, and I got two of those, um, that brain teaser game. <clears throat> and I'm going to paint them both with that ink, chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to take silver lining, and I'm going to paint those two little circles from that bag of brick and brack I got a couple years ago or last year or whenever from the Dollar Tree. Mm. Okay, I'm going to take two tumbling tower blocks and glue them side by side like that. Now, y'all can take a craft stick, one of them dominoes or whatever. I use a piece of a paint stir stick, and the only reason I use it is because it was laying right there. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'll use this. So, I'm going to glue them, like, down at the, yeah, in my little truck. <clears throat> and I do paint that also with crimson. And I do paint the backside red and the tie. But, you know, take it from me. Don't put that on there until you're done with your truck. Because I'm like, dude, really? So, then I had to find a block to put under it. So, I was going to make white wall tires because that's my dad's favorite. But I messed it up. So, they just ended up being black tires. So, anyway, at calendar to only 23 calendar the christmas picture the little one i cut out the back and i cut it down the size and i'm gonna mod podge it on my little door of my truck Whew. gee whiz y'all i talk talk talking 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 i'm just like i lost my breath anyway this little christmas tray i got at the dollar tree it's in that cobblestone or whatever that is now i never seen them before it lights up and it's got a little star on top of it and it's cute and actually it was the size i got one of them but thank goodness it was the size i needed because my other ones were too small my other ones were way too big and that one's just right just like gold locks and three bears my mom's name's goldie anyway um random <clears throat> so i hot glued that down there i bent it and hot glued the bottom part of it to my like little bed thing i made there of my truck yeah, and now I'm slowly showing y'all me Mod Podge and the um, calendar piece on. Yeah, didn't want to leave that out. And anyway, I'm going to take that ribbon. I cut that ribbon for a bow early and didn't use it. And I'm going to wrap it around my um, thing there that I painted white. Yeah, and then 
I didn't have enough, of course, so that's just how my life goes, and so, so tragic. If that's the worst thing ever happens to me, then I've got it pretty good, right? So, anyway, I just <clears throat> wrap that all around, and we'll just make that the back, which you can't even really see. It kind of blends in really good, and I'm going to hot glue those, um, mine teaser, brain teaser games, uh, pieces. I've already glued them to my tires, and I hot glued them down to my little red thing. So then those little blocks that was randomly sitting there on my desk that I used to prop my truck up, I was like, huh, I got an idea. So I paint the bigger one. It's like two inches tall and one inch wide. And then the other one's like one by one. And I have no clue where I got them. But you could use them little dice from it, Dolce. And I painted the other one white. Whew. I love y'all. Miss y'all so very much. It's been really busy and hectic lately. Um, Seriously. So anyway... <clears throat> That white one, I take little, um, this cute little ribbon. I think I got this from Dollar Tree, y'all. It's burlap with, like, um, with, like, baker's twine wrapped around the ends of it. And anyway, I wrap it up like a Christmas present. I made a teeny, 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 tiny bow. And, uh, I just did the shoelace bow and with that ribbon, yeah. And I hot glued it on top of my, that present. And now, with the green one... Um, I wrap it up like a Christmas present also, um, but I don't make a bow for it because my white package is going to be sitting on top of my green package in the back of my pickup truck. Ain't that cute? Anyway, yeah, I need a drink, y'all. Mm-mm. Oh, it's hot now. Um, so then I take a fan brush. And, um, my white paint, and I just kind of make everything a flock, everything. I make it snowy looking. Even put extra on that tree, because that tree didn't have enough. And it didn't cover up the lights either. It still looks cute. Yeah. So, oh, there I go. I meant to glue that green package at an angle, but I didn't. And then, then I just take some Christmas trees, and I hot glue them down through the... He's picking up his Christmas tree, and his presents, and he's going home. Ain't that cute? Um, I wanted to put some Epsom salt down, and then I realized I didn't have any Epsom salt, so I didn't put it down. <laughs> anyway, and then, um, I'm not quite finished, of course. I take some antique wax, and I want to make my truck look a little bit dirty. Yeah. I want it to look like an old farmer's truck, you know what I'm saying? My dad had an old truck one time, an old gray one like that, and it just, I'll, I'll never forget running in the back of it down them country hollers where we live. Anyway, here it is, y'all, and I hope y'all like it. I think it's adorable. And you can set that on a mantle, just a shelf sitter, just sit it anywhere under your Christmas tree. Look at the little presents. <laughs> and the Christmas lights on it in the little store. Well, I just think that's cute. Yeah. And I'm going to show it to you extra long. Okay, this one's real simple, y'all. I take that there from the Dollar Tree, and I take my heat tool. You have to use it on high heat to get those um, felt flowers to melt off. I mean, I'd still only out and get them all fair. And, um, well, you p could probably use Goo Gone or Goof Off or whatever that other stuff is. And uh, I paint the entire thing black, and then I go back later, and I paint the sides there with the crimson chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm going to take one of them Merry Christmas ornaments from the Dollar Tree, <clears throat> and I spritz some water on it so I can scrape that glue off. I did a whole thing two years ago. You take one of them reindeers, I soaked it in my kitchen sink, and big reindeers and scraped every bit of glitter off those things. Anyway, and then the glitter just went down the sink. So that's just what I'm doing there. Because I didn't want that glittery. I just wanted to paint it and make it my own. <clears throat> so anyway, I give it two coats of Crimson Chalk Paint by Waverly. And here I'm taking a piece of that tartan plaid again. I love tartan plaid. And I'm cutting a three inch strip two inches high. Yeah. And I'm just going to, now I did mark it with my pencil so I can see roundabouts where to try to keep my Mod Podge best to get my piece of paper on without slapping Mod Podge all over the whole thing for the time being. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think I went back in and covered this one. And I take that uh, super glue gel and I'm going to glue my little Merry Christmas word on the front of it. I wish I could have had some height. I probably could have cut up some bamboo skewers, bamboo bamboo skewers and anyway 
uh, make it stick out some. And I'm just going to take some of that mistletoe and some of that little pick from the Walmart, I think. I don't even know. And then I'm going to take this tartan plaid ribbon that after I bought some at Walmart, I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to cut that line there and cut that uh, gold trim off. And I make me a tiny uh, bow and I singe it in so it don't keep unraveling. And I hot glue it to the center of my uh, greenery there at the top. <clears throat> this is for tear tray. And then I add me some berries to it. And then I put a little pine cone in the middle of it. I think in the middle of it. Isn't that cute? Something just so simple. And that I think it just turned out adorable. Oh, wow. This is everything, y'all. I cannot believe, gee whiz, it seemed like that went fast. You're like, not if you was watching it. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. I love y'all so very much. At the end of this video, I left the tutorial on how to um, make those little tiny bows that I make to put in the center of my big bows. I love my joy there. And that little lantern, I, and that thing, I like that. I wish the tag was different, though. That kind of aggravates me. Maybe I can remove it and change it. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it alone. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And I appreciate y'all so very much from the bottom of my heart. And there's my finger. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Mwah. Love you. Okay. What you do. I'm trying to talk like, you know, if I'm sneaking up on the line. If you have one-sided ribbon, um, what you do is fold it like that. Like, fold it and then fold it over. And that makes one loop. You got one loop on each side. And then if you that you fold it twice for one loop, fold it four times for two loops. You know what I mean? I end up making three loops. So I fold my ribbon six times. Because you got to have a loop on each side. I've sometimes made them uneven. Three on one side, five on the other. But, you know, I don't know. It's how the cookie crumbles. And then I just take that one of them clips there from the Dollar Tree and hold it together. Now, when I have double-sided ribbon, I fold it like this. I fold it. I fold it like this. I fold it. Then I just fold it over on top of itself. Like, keep going the same direction. You see what I mean? Like that. Instead of folding it, like wrapping it like I was wrapping something, I bend this back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I wish my fingers weren't so fat you could see better. Maybe I could show better with big ribbon. Or I hope you can understand this as it is. And see, and I do it when I got three loops on each side. That's I do the same for each ribbon. Whether I wrap it over on itself or back and forth and back and forth. And I take my scissors. <clears throat> this isn't hard. I know a lot of people think it is. And I make a little slit in it. You will see. I'll show you. Now look. See? And you, you can do it. Just cut a little slit in it. And just don't cut it all the way through. I know sometimes easier said than done. And I've been doing it for a while. So I do have probably better control. Because I think when I first started, I cut a lot of ribbon too much. But I just reclamp it all together there. <clears throat> Each piece of it I cut, I cut. Yeah, I don't know if I show you again. I probably shouldn't have to, but yeah, I do because you know I'm just goofy. I forget stuff. But see, yeah, just in the center, and then I grab it all together out of my clamp, and I take a piece of pop cleaner, and I just wrap it around the center, and then I keep pulling and wiggling and finagling until it gets in each of those slits. Because that's really thick. And then I make it really, really, really tight. And for some extra cuteness, I do dovetail the ends after I fluff it all out. I dovetail all the ends and make my little ribbon big and floofy. Ow. Yeah. And um, fluff and fluff and fluff. You can never fluff enough. <laughs> I rhymed. I didn't even realize it. Anyway, I hope this helps and I hope... Because sometimes, you know, anyway, and I just cut off the excess pipe cleaner and hot glue it to the center of my bow. Or just, I don't even put 
in a bow, I just glue it on its 